Welcome back to the channel and today we are building together in live a complete Next.js application connected to a Postgres database. And of course, we are going to do this in one single prompt. And you will see the schema, the migration and the CD data, it's all included. And after watching this video, you will be able to ship your next SaaS application, upgrade your portfolio or simply just bootstrap any project you want. And this, of course, will work with any LLM. This video is for everyone, from beginners to senior developers. If you don't know me, I'm Arthur and I'm a developer advocate at Prisma. And this video is part of a long series to help you ship faster. So hit subscribe and let's jump into the code right now. Okay, so now let's dive into the code and let's create our Next.js application. I'm gonna name it Prompt AI Next.js Postgre database. And hit enter. I'm gonna say yes, I will use the recommended default. TypeScript, ESLint, etc. Let's wait for all of the packages to be installed. This should be fairly quick. Yes, it's done. So now let's open this directory with cursor. I'm going to choose cursor. You can choose Windsurf or any other software you want. Let's open with cursor. All right. Zoom looks good. On the left, I'm going to create a prompt.md file at the source level. Prompt.md file. Okay. And this is where we are going to copy paste the actual content of the prompt. To find this prompt, you can actually use the link in the description below. This is the link to the actual step-by-step -step guide for this video. I'm gonna open it in live for you. You can go to the actual prisma.io website. You can click on docs. Then you can click on more, prisma and AI. And on the left, click Next.js plus prisma. And you will see a step-by-step -step guide that you can use to follow along the video. I'm going to scroll down. I'm, I'm going to just copy paste the actual prompt. I'm going to go back to the actual code and I'm going to paste it. Save it. Close it. That's it. If on your ID the actual AI panel is not open, you can click here. Toggle AI panel. Hop. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to just add a few instructions. Please follow the guidelines in the reference file. I'm going to need to reference the actual file. Okay. And this is called prompt.md. That's it. That's good. So this file is linked now and configure Prisma ORM with Prisma Postgres in this existing Next.js project. I'm going to use Claude Sonnet 4.5 thinking mode. You can choose ChatGPT, anything, and I'm going to choose the agent mode. And I'm going to just click on send. If you have any question after this video, do not hesitate to let us know in the comment section. So let's go back to the code. On the right, you can see there is a to-do list. This is coming from, of course, the old prompt.md file. And we will just have to click run on a couple of commands. Run. You can see that on the left, there is a package.json, package, a couple of packages installed. Also for Prisma Extension Accelerate, yes. Click next. Next again. You can see on the left, we have a Prisma folder that is being created. He is creating a Prisma config file, a schema file also. We are going to take a look at this. He created the actual seed script for the data. That's good. So we can have a user already in the database, you will see. He is updating the actual page.tsx file to actually display and fetch the user from the database. Very interesting. We are coming to the end. Okay, so I'm going to just click keep all. I'm going to just close that. Let's take a look at the code quickly. We have on the left the schema file with a user model. Okay, let's close that. Okay, let's open app. Let's open API. A very interesting file is the root.ts file. We already have a get and a post function. Let's close it. And now let's try to actually run it locally to take a look if it worked if we have a user in the database and if we actually can fetch the user data. So let's open a terminal. I'm going to open it directly here. Let's use this command Prisma generate. Okay. And then we will be able to open Prisma Studio. Let's run it first. We will be able to actually see our data in live using this command npm run db studio. This is because we obviously have a script already created in our package.json. Okay. Let's run it. Okay, let me show you what we have. All right, let me open it full screen, zoom in. We already have a user in our database. Look at this ID, demo example, demo user. 
this is from the actual seed data script that is included in this template. Nice, let's see if we can fetch the actual data. Okay, let's just run the application now. npm run dev. Local 3000. Let's open. That's it. This is a very simple page, but this is just for the sake of having a good template to start anything you want. I hope you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow us. Feel free to add any comments if you have a project you want to share, if you have a question, and I will see you soon for another video. Bye everyone.